Hello, and welcome to the FL Studio video tutorial for using the Step Sequencer. The Step Sequencer is the main window that FL Studio uses when constructing loops, and getting to know it really well will maximize your enjoyment of FL Studio. So let's have a look at it. The Step Sequencer contains a button for each channel in your song, from which you can access its channel settings, as well as accessing the Piano Roll Editor and several other functions. The Step Sequencer also contains a pattern grid, where you can create drum loops and simple melodies. Each button in the grid represents a 16th note. You can change this setting using the Pattern Length Control. You can also change the global value and the beat length from the project's General Settings window. Click the Project tab, like so. Left-clicking on a button in the grid turns it on. Right-clicking will turn it off. You can also set the button's note or pitch using the Keyboard Edit view, which can be shown or hidden using the Keyboard Edit button. Each note has some additional properties such as panning or volume that you can set using the Graph Edit window. This can be accessed by clicking the Graph Edit button. The graph has several areas you can edit, pan, velocity, and more. Right-click in the Channel button brings up a menu, which will provide some commands for managing channels. Additionally, this menu will provide access to the Piano Roll Edit window, which is designed for the entering of complex melodic parts unlike the standard sequencing grid, which is optimized for drum loops and basic bass lines. The main edit menu of the program also contains commands for working with the step sequencer. And to continue our tour of the step sequencer window, you can use the channel's panning wheel for each channel to set that channel's panning, and the channel's volume wheel to set the channel's volume. The channel selector LED will indicate which channel is selected, which is useful for when you're performing cut, copy, and paste commands from the edit window. The mute switch will allow you to mute the channel, and you can quickly solo the channel by right-clicking on the LED and selecting solo. You'll notice now that the other LEDs are grayed out. The swing slider allows you to add swing to the notes you write in the step sequencer. Move it to the right to add more swing, and move it to the left to reduce swing. One other important tool to notice when using the step sequencer is the channel display filter, which allows the user to set the groups of channels that will show in the step sequencer. You can display all channels as here, or select unassorted to display only the unassigned channels. Well, that's about it. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and that you now have a good feel for using the step sequencer in FL Studio. Of course, there isn't time in a short video to cover all the possible options. FL Studio comes with excellent online documentation, which you can use alongside this tutorial to answer more detailed questions as your knowledge of the program increases. Thanks for your attention, and have fun with FL Studio.